Technology is rapidly changing our world, a world that faces great challenges in the fields of energy, environment, and healthcare. Scientists at Aarhus University are working to find ways of applying new technologies to help us address these challenges. Rune Hülsberg Jakobsen is one of them. The main focus of my research concerns smart energy and its potential for a greener and more sustainable society. In this experiment that we call the Green Lift, we are studying consumer behavior. We are signaling with a green uh, flashing LED when there's low carbon dioxide emission intensity in the grid. We are signaling with a red when there's a high carbon dioxide emission intensity in the grid. From this, we are hoping to see if the consumer is willing to change behavior. Biotechnology is another rapidly developing field that is changing our lives. Peter Christensen and his research group work on therapeutic antibodies. So what we basically do is that we take the soldiers of the body, the antibodies, and we take them out of your body and into the lab. And in the lab we can generate more and new soldiers to fight disease in a better way. The goals of our research is to contribute to the area called biopharmaceuticals. Within this area, Therapeutic antibody reached a sale in 2013 of $63.5 billion. This is around 20% of the Danish gross national product. Another area with a huge economic and biomedical potential is 3D printing. This technology is essential to the research of Jens Winger Nukor, who works on 3D bioprinting. It enables us to tailor biomaterials to either a specific patient or a specific cell type. The goal of his research is to develop new therapies to cure tissue injuries based on printing 3D implants with unique mechanical properties that can stimulate the growth of different cell types. The uh, ultimate impact of this technology uh, on society would be, in the extreme case, at which we have enabled us to build complete organs using these principles. Uh, in this case, the need for donor organs would be eliminated. For companies that create new products in a world of exponential technological growth, computer control and the development of virtual prototypes has become essential. This is the research area of Peter Gorm Larsen. The combination of cyber parts controlling a physical component is growing tremendously and time to market for the products being developed in this field is so important to kind of get right first time and for that reason a virtual environment is a, is a right kind of solution to uh, interact with. Renewable sources of energy are a major issue on the global political agenda. Lars Ottersen is using his expertise in microbiology to create radical new energy solutions based on the surplus electricity from wind turbines. The development in our energy systems and our increased understanding of microbiology has led us to a situation where we can now take microbiology in anaerobic digestion and combine it with electricity production to upgrade biogas into natural gas quality. 